it comes and goes and I don't really have any control over it. So, um, when, when it is taking me a long time to get a video out, I'm sorry. That's just that, you know, I'm struggling as well. So, either way, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Steve K. Also known as Steve K. 33 was an American YouTuber, best known for his Talking Kitty Cat series, which features him talking to his cats as if they were humans. Steve Cash was born on November 14, 1979, in Oakland, California. Yeah, he, he was always interested in music like, and, and wanted to show off his musical talents. And when he graduated high school, he moved to Boise, Idaho. Then, in November of 2007, he joined YouTube. The only reason Steve even signed up for YouTube was because he saw uh, SFMP film um, Mina Kitty song in the main, and he he just wanted to show oh uh, them that Spotted didn't have shit on Sylvester. He was not planning on making another Kitty video after that. After posting a little lap about computers, he would actually end up pointing the camera right back at Sylvester, and the rest was history. This was Talking Kitty Cat Part 1. Kitty, wake up. Please wake up. Hi. Because it's morning. So? So? Fuck. Kitty. Just shut up. Kitty. What? Get up. Kitty, wake up. No. Please wake up, Kitty. Come on. It's a nice day. After that, after that he, would do, he would do some more the music videos and, and blogs. But in Macaroni and Cheese Cake, he would announce that he had gotten a new kitten, which only appeared in two videos. His name was Ibanez. Uh, his name is Ibanez, but I think he's a dud because he doesn't actually do anything. At first, first it looked like Sylvester didn't really care about Ibanez, but in Ibanez's last appearance, Cream of Corn Dogs, it looks like they have finally gotten became best friends. In a video of two months later, later, you and us sad news that Agnes has went missing. Yeah, because of their docile nature, they have a tendency not to defend themselves. And because they're so friendly, they'll go home with anybody. So you definitely don't want to let your rag doll outside. Honest truth, I haven't seen Agnes for about two months. We did let him outside one night, and he just never came back. But... Given what they say in that video, I have to guess that, you know, he's probably with a good family. Saddened by the fact that one of his cats went missing, he, his friend Jim had gotten a new puppy. Be, and this is when Taki Cat 2 comes in. <laughs> My friend's dog had puppies. I brought one home. We have a dog. For real? Yeah, she's out in the living room. She's so cute. Come check her out. But because Sylvester did not want to get off his lazy ass, he would So we would later be introduced in another video titled, Cutest Puppy Ever. But I went to... But... We would see Sylvester and Shelby in the video to get... Get in Tarky 3 bath time. On July 17th, Steve presented a tape that showed Talking Kitty Cat on Fox News. Let's wake up Fox News Civil Rights Correspondent Talking Kitty to get his take. Yeah. Kitty? What? Kitty, wake up. No. Please wake up. Why? Because it's morning. So? So? Kitty! In fairness, this is way past Talking Kitty's bedtime. Dana, are 
After that, the music with blocks just kept on coming. Yeah. But if you notice the trend, people like the music, but they love Sylvester. And soon, the Takakita Cat series actually became a series. In September of 2010, two things happened. First thing, he started a new series on his channel that he calls Four Steves, where he duplicates himself and does and does parodies of songs. The second thing was a new kitten. Let's take a look at this kitty right here. I love the look of that kitty, so we're gonna go get him right now. From talking kitty cat six all the way to forty, talking kitty cat forty seven, when Gibson was a pro. Read part of the cast. In an attack from Sylvester, his first word was help. But he started using that word constantly. When he started saying another word, all was left was pure confusion. While Todd was later revealed to be Sylvester's previous owner, we want to get a glimpse of him until Talking Kitty Cat had 34. At that time, Sylvester, I mean Gibson, went missing. But however, it was late. But however, he got captured by Todd. It would be because he not have another animal for about three or four years until a random kitten showed up out of nowhere. Random kitten was found in Steve's backyard. Steve originally took the cat in and and tried to find its owner, but with no one, one pleading mm, that it was his, that they that random kitten was theirs. Theirs, they decided to keep random kitty. But in Talking Kitty Cat 47, something surprising happened. What the belly? It looks like you've been eating a lot. Kitty became a mother and Gibson became a father. But for Gibson, that fathership would not last long. Hey guys, I'm Steve Cash. As some of you already know, Gibson did pass away recently during the production of this video, and I don't want to go into too much detail about how it happened because I am tired of crying over my lost kitty. Um, but he died naturally and quickly. Steve Cash will make a memorial for Gibson. How Gibson's memorial frozen in time. But as we look on it now, it feels like it's for both of them. You would also make Gibson's mini movie, which is Donkey Cat 32, 33, and 34, all in one long video. Steve's next animal, Gibson, was from a litter of five kittens. Gibson was choose as the one as the kitten what Anim Kitty Kitty wanted to keep. And as his name speaks, Gibson is named after Gibson. Matter of fact, all the random Gibson that Steve has to, that Steve had today, they relate to Gibson. But well, then some Something bad happened. It means to be evicted. Yeah. It means to get kicked out of your house for breaking the rules. Yeah. yeah. And in our house, the rules are pretty simple. We're only allowed to have two pets. But now that we have three cats and a dog, I just found out that we're getting evicted. Which means we're getting kicked out. What? Yeah. We have too many pets. Well, they were going to get a new house. One thing for sure, they lived in that house for the longest. They moved in it and talked to Kitty Cat 20. And... As that Tyler Sears and Talking Cat 51, they were kicked out. That is, 
It's 31 episodes in one house. Only two years ago, a new kitten was added to the family. Her name was G Gigi, short for Gibson's granddaughter. She only was in, she was only, she only appeared in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos, videos, but however, it was long enough for people to really get to know her. And if, and in talking kitty cat 69.5, 67.5, he, he, they got, Sylvester got a job. Um, and it is possibly the absolute funniest episode. Yes, we still have the Big Mac, but we also have cameras and I can see that you don't need any more Big Macs. Excuse me? Ma'am, ma'am, you can have the Diet Coke, but it won't offset the Big Mac, it's just science. Are you insulting me right now? Absolutely not. What else would you like with your Diet Coke? Uh, a Big Mac. Okay, so we've got a Diet Coke and a garden salad. That'll be $8.56 at the first window. I didn't order a salad. Just eat the fucking salad, bitch. I'm trying to help you. Video, talking Kitty Cats 69. Steve Cash going to forgetting Sylvester's birthday and then getting in trouble with the FBI. And in the video, video he mentioned something sad. And it would also be, I would lead this to be the final video ever. And those of you who are wondering why it takes me to videos to get anything out, um, it is because I have bipolar disorder, which means I spend sometimes, you know, a couple months to six months or longer uh, stuck in a really, really deep depression. And it just, it comes and goes and I don't really have any control over it. So, um, when, when it is taking me a long time to get a video out, I'm sorry. It's just that, you know, I'm struggling as well. So, either way, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Now, now while he's promised his fans a new video, that new video would never come. YouTuber Steve Cash starred the series Talking Kitty Cat Dead at 40. On Friday, Steve's wife Celia DaCosta Cash took to Facebook to announce the tragic news, writing... This is so hard. I'm not even sure what to say or, for that matter, what to do. I just lost my best friend, my sidekick, my lover, my mentor, my absolute everything this morning. I'm so sad to say my husband, Steve Cash, took his own life this morning, 4-16-2020. It hurts me to share this. Please understand, give the family time to grieve, but know that Steve is no longer in pain. This was devastating for a lot of people. Very soon everyone was making tribute videos. It was to remember Steve Cash. Steve Cash might have not been in the most popular YouTube star, but he would forever live on. I and I wish Celia DeCosta Cash the the best of of the future. I hope you can move on to this strongly. You'll never forget you, Steve Cash. You're always one of my favorite YouTubers. You're very unique. And you made very funny videos. And you left us with a lot of good memories. Flaggle, flaggle forever.